Hey everybody, this is example number two for mechanics of materials covering the basic principles of stress. The problem statement that we have is the two plates shown below are connected through a single V butt weld. The weld is used to transmit a force of 100 kips from one plate to the other. And we need to find the average normal and average shear stress components due to this loading on the weld face AB, on weld face section AB. So here are two plates, they're connected via this weld in the middle. And the weld is used to transmit a force of this 100 kips tensile loading. And we need to find the normal and the average normal and normal uh, and shear stress components acting on this section AB of the weld face. So the first thing we're going to do is calculate the forces, the normal and shear forces acting on this on this plane. So here we have our free body diagram, and we show the normal force and the shear force, normal and shear uh, forces acting on this plane. And then we also show uh, this, mod this coordinate system that we call x prime and y prime that align with the normal and shear, shear forces. And we also show our external 100 kip force acting on this plate. And we resolve this force into two components, and it's uh, essentially we're resolving it into a shear component and a normal component that's, uh, that's similar to what we did on the incline. So that's the easiest way to do this, just to break this force down into a normal and shear, uh, shear components that, are, that, match up, that match up with the X prime and Y prime coordinate system. So we sum the forces in the x direction to find the shear, shear force acting on the plane. And we find that the shear force is equal to 100 times cosine of 60 degrees. And that is equal to, let me see, I made a spreadsheet for this example. It's 50 kips. It's 50 kips. And you guys could get access to this spreadsheet as well as many other spreadsheets at our website at engineeringexamples.net. Next, we sum the forces in the y prime direction in, uh, to get the normal uh, force acting on this plane. And the normal force is equal to 100 times cosine of 30 degrees. So that's equal to about 86.6, 86.603 kips. Now that we've calculated the forces, acting on the plane, we have to calculate the area over which these uh, forces are acting over. So here's our plate again and the incline. And the area, the, the area over which it's acting on is here, this area along this, this plane. So the area is equal to the width of the plate times the length, length of this incline AB. And the width we know from the figure, if we go back to our example, the width is equal to 6 inches. So we still need to find the length AB. And just using basic uh, trigonometry, so sine of 60 degrees is equal to 2 inches divided by length of AB. And this 2 inches is the thickness of the plate that's also shown in the figure. So we rearrange the terms and find that the length AB is equal to 2 inches divided by sine of 60 degrees. So our area is equal to 6 inches times 2 inches divided by sine of 60 degrees, which comes out to be 13.856 inches squared. 13.856.856 inches squared. So once we've calculated the, the normal and shear force, and the area over which they are acting upon. Now we just can easily calculate the average normal stress and average shear stress. So average normal stress is equal to the normal force divided by the, divided by the area. And that's equal to 6.25 KSI. 6.25 KSI. And the average shear stress is equal to the shear force divided by the area. And so that's equal to 3.608.
3.608 KSI. And so this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel and please also visit our website and subscribe to the website as well. It's at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.